Okay, so this is on a patient that is conscious and not in any emergency. This is like someone that's about to go into surgery, right? So when we come in, we're going to introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm going to be intubating you today for your surgery. Um, when we do that, we're going to put in a tube into your lungs so that we can breathe for you during your surgery. Do you have any questions about the procedure? No? Okay, great. Is it okay if we go ahead and proceed? Yes. Okay, so next we're going to... Uh, perform an airway assessment. So those are the things we we're talking about. We're looking for, and I want you to verbalize this, we're looking for uh, signs of a difficult intubation. We're gonna look, have them open and shut their mouth. We're gonna look inside their mouth, look at the size of their tongue, uh, look at their teeth, make sure they don't have any dentures that we need to remove, right? Um, we're also gonna look at their tongue size, the mobility of their neck, and have them move their neck side to side, look at how big it is, and all of those things, okay? So you can say that out loud. Next, we're going to get all of our equipment ready because we need to be ready once we knock this patient out to put this tube in and breathe for them, so that's really important. So we're going to get our BVM. Can I have the, the mask? Oops. I'm going to have this set up like this. I have my tube. Now, each tube has a size on it. This is a 6. If you look over there, there's a 5 and a 7, I think. So that's a 5, really tiny. Mm -hmm. And so the bigger the number, the bigger the tube. The tube also has a stylet in it. This stylet is too big for this tube, but it makes it easier to push it in, so that's why I left this one in here. Oh, there you go. That's like a seven, right? Or 7.5, something like that? 7.5, yeah. Seven, okay. So we have all our equipment. We need, we need a um, syringe. We need our blade. Now, there's two different kinds of blades. This is a Macintosh. Macintosh is curved, okay? It has two pieces. It has the blade itself. We can change the blade out. It'll say Mac 3 or... The three is the size of <coughs> the, the mm -hmm. blade. Uh, a Mac three is fairly normal size. A Mac four is a little bigger, so the bigger the number, the bigger the blade. This is a Miller. Miller is a straight blade, and this is a Miller two. Okay, you can. These are interchangeable, and so you want to always make sure your light works when you're checking your equipment, right? Um, what's the difference? How how do we intubate with this one versus this one? Kid versus adult. Uh, oh. Yes, you can, some, certain ones are, like, a lot of people like to use Miller's on kids. I was going to say that. Miller kids, Macintosh, adults. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, an, it's not one of those things, it's like an absolute rule? thing. Oh. It's just kind of preference, preference right? Oh, okay. But I'm, I'm more asking, like, how do we position this one? This one, we position it past the epiglottis. It moves everything out of the way. Whereas this mm -hmm. one falls just before the epiglottis in the... Molecular, right? Yeah, right. That one. That, that, that was ours. <laughs> so for the demo, I'm gonna use a Mac. I'm gonna use a Mac, okay? So we want to put it on our light Sorry. and make sure our light works, okay? And we can get it. We have that out of the way. Now I think we have everything. Is there anything we're missing here? Anything? We're gonna want to have whatever we're gonna use in our practical. No, but for real life, we want to have tape or something we're gonna use to secure the tube once we get it in. Um, do you I'm, have I'm an air in here when you inflate this one? You should have, you should have what air. Do you, what do you yes, have? Yes, air. Okay. okay, so we're all set up. Now that we're set up, we're going to move down. This is where we would get IV access. We're going to make sure their EKG is okay, that they're stable <coughs> to have the procedure done. We're going to put on our protective eyewear, not in the practical, but protective eyewear, face mask, and then for the practical, gloves. This is where we put on our gloves. Okay. Now we're on number seven. We're gonna place the patient in the sniffing position. So sniffing position, it's pretty good. That's the sniffing position, okay? So we're gonna really kind of tilt their head back as far as we can. We wanna get this as straight as possible. Because if they're like this, it's, it's impossible. So you wanna get them in a good sniffing position, okay? Uh, now we're going to give them some oxygen, right? Because we're about to put them under, okay? So how do we hold our Hold it in an E through AC, right? So we put this, make sure it's over and it forms a tight seal. We're gonna grab this, these three here and the C here. And then we're gonna go ahead and start delivering with the 10 liters per minute at 100% oxygen via BVM, right? We're gonna pre-oxygenate the patient. It's not a bunch, it's not forceful, it's just gentle, okay? And oxygenation is usually about one every five to six seconds or so, right? All right, so during this time, this is where we're gonna knock them out, okay? We don't have to do this for the practical, but they're gonna give them the medicine, and they're gonna make sure that they're out, right? Then, 
It's just telling you that effective ventilation requires holding it like this and holding it um, a tight seal. And now we're ready to intubate. So we have everything ready. I've oxygenated them, and now I'm ready to intubate. It's not a rushed procedure. Just because you have 30 seconds, it's not a, it's not a frantic free-for-all. It's controlled urgency, right? So we're going to get our blade. We're going to start from the right side sweeping the tongue because in real life, the tongue's going to slouch. So you're going to get in there. It's going to be slippy too, so you're going to have to find, find the epiglottis and go right before it, okay? Once you get it where you need to go, you swept the tongue out of the way, you're gonna get kind of in a squatting position and you're going to get your nose to their nose and you're gonna brace your arm on their forehead like this and you're gonna crank up and away, okay? I'm not gonna hit their teeth, I'm not doing this, look, I'm breaking their teeth, okay? It's an up and away motion, so get right there. Up and away and it's gonna hurt, okay? Once I have that, everybody needs to come see what I'm looking at right here. I'm gonna hold it like this because my arm's dying. <coughs> but I'm looking for I'm looking for the opening. Okay, do you see the opening? Mm. Yes. Mm. You see it? Mm -hmm. Good. You should see the vocal cords. If not, you just see the opening. Okay, it's the little hole right there. Everybody see it? Come see it. No, I got it. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. See that little hole's where we're going. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to see that. You're not gonna blindly place the tube. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna say a prayer and throw it in there. You're, you're gonna find the hole so that you need. The hole right up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. The back of the tube. Everybody see it? Oh, okay. The big tube, right? Okay. Everybody seen it? Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a break for a second. <laughs> All right, so 30 seconds has way passed, right? What is that? How do you lift the trachea? The like the, that's like right before, yeah, that's no like right where the epiglottis opens. That's the, the airway, right? Okay. All right, so now, now we're gonna actually do it, okay? Right on the top, right? So I'm in, I'm gonna do this crank up lift. I see my hole. I'm gonna take my tube and I wanna hold it like this, okay? Kinda like a pencil. I'm not gonna jam it in there like this. If you're gonna do this, you need to look like you know what you're doing, right? So <laughs> hold it like this. I'm gonna find the epiglottis. I'm gonna slide it just underneath the epiglottis and into the airway, okay? I'm not gonna cram it in there. Once it stops, it stops, okay? Never let go of the tube. Just like Jack and Rose, right? Never let go of Jack, right? Turn off the light, embracing the tube. I'm gonna pull out my stylet next. Once my stylet's out, I'm gonna inflate my cuff, okay? Never letting go of the tube. Now I'm going to my bag. Can you take the mask off, please? Okay, this one here. And my lungs. One breath every five to six seconds. You don't wanna over inflate the lungs. And that's the end for your practical purposes. Once the tube is, you need to confirm.